Call us at 718-975-9000. 718-975-9000. You stop by a call, make sure you say hello to Amy or Ellie. Of course, tell them you're about them. We're right here on Lail Shishi with Yaley. Are you a pal yet? And now, the show you've all been waiting for. Only on JRootRadio.com. Tens of thousands of listeners. Bringing you the very best in Jewish music, Leo Shishi with Yoili. And here's your host, Yoili Carr. And welcome back to another part Great. of Leo Shishi with Yoili. Mm-hmm. So tonight we're talking about three different exciting topics. Where were you, Chalamoid? What do you think about the weather? <laughs> And where are you going to be for the How summer? Where are you going to be for the summer? I guess it's summer. That's right. Sure. The reason, the reason, I just reason, sent you one more thing. The reason, yeah, the reason I want to talk about the summer is yeah. I hope if we talk about the summer, the weather will change. By the way, you heard about this? Rabbi Chaim gave a bracha to a bacher. He should become. A, he should get engaged this winter. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's still not engaged. Chana. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Sphere jokes. Sphere jokes, <laughs> soy hot dogs. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, we have people that are calling in to yes, discuss yes, these important the line, the line for, earth-shattering uh, discussions. Let's see who we got on the air. You me, are on the air. What's in it? Let me see who is the longest. Let long, me see who it is. Who is the longest? Who is the longest? Let's okay, see. Yeah. Do you want to be fair? Hello. You're on the air. What's your name? Hello, you're Anonymous. on the air. Anonymous. What do you want to say? First of all, where, where, where did you go, Chalamoid? To the place. To the place. Sabotage? Yes. One second. Yeah, let me what take... was it about a, a, the Russians who wanted to kill the Jews and then Hashem helped them and the Jew got, the Jew got saved? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> you fall asleep. Yeah, asleep. That's a great place to stop a snooze. You worked there. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you made money. You got it. You're one of the producers? No. So what was your job at the play? Let's he see. doesn't know what, what the play was about. Yeah, was working. What was your job at the play? You were selling the drinks outside? Uh, I was doing the back the security and the front. doing security. security. Very important. It, it is, is very, very important. important in these situations. 100%. Where was this? In NJ Pack? Where was this play? In NJ Pack. NJ Pack. So they don't have security there? What? They don't have security there? They do have, but they want to get it for people for security too, to help out the kids and everything. Uh huh. Like this, you knew who was allowed and who wasn't allowed, in, and this, that, and the other thing. Mm hmm. Gavaldic. Sounds like for, you had a good time doing it? What? You had a good time? Yeah. How many nights did this sabotage take place? Two nights and two days. Two nights and two days. So, what was that, Monday and Tuesday? Yeah. So, you were busy Monday, Tuesday. So, what did you do Wednesday? No, Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Not Monday. Monday it snowed. Um, okay. Did the fact that it snowed oh, sabotage know. the plans at all for the play? I think so. Yeah, you think so? Was it a full house? No, it was a full house. Uh-huh. Well, Hashem, that's always good when, when Yiddish people, you know, make money on nice, on nice events. Anyway, so, what, so what did you do on Monday? You were preparing, getting ready with the security. I uh, went... ATV and I went to the concert with Shmuelinga. The concert with oh, Shmuelinga. Oh, oh, no. How was it? Did they give out Macha Brucha cups? No. Nope. Uh huh. But it was a solid show, huh? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Was Yossi Green there? Yeah. You sang with Yiddish Nachos? Yiddish Nachos. Shimmy Angle. Shimmy Angle was there. It was a whole lineup, a Gishmaka lineup there, Gavaldi. Did you do security there also or that you got to enjoy? Yeah, I got time for that. Baruch Good for you. So, and, and what do you think about the weather? Well, it shouldn't be better. It could be better or it shouldn't be better? That's perfect now. It's perfect now. You, you, you're probably one of these guys that at 50 degrees, you still wear short sleeves with nothing, right? Short sleeves and short pants. And short pants. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where are you going to be in the summer? What? Where are you spending your summer? 
a little bit of everywhere. To give me one example of the little bit of everywhere you're going to be. I'm going to be in the city. I'm going to be upstate. Ah, uh, city and upstate. That's very, very, now I know where you're going to be. Anyway, thank you so much for calling. Where are you calling from, by the way? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Brooklyn's a big place. Very good. Thank you so much for calling. And uh, have a wonderful Shabbos. You are on there. What's your name? I don't know why it's not going, by the way. I'm trying to send you something. You are on there. What's your name? Hello. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Mendel. Mendel, where are you calling from? Uh, Crown Heights. Crown Heights. Whoa. So we had Lakewood, Crown Heights, and Muncie, Muncie and Brooklyn, and Borough Park. And it's almost like the five boroughs. Anyway, um, so what are you, which topic are you calling about? Anything. Anything. Hello. What, what did you call about? I don't know. So what did you do, Khalamaid? Uh Stayed here. You stayed there? Where's here? In Crown Heights? Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. And um, and what did you do there? Uh, went to Benaz Learning Program. Went to Benaz You learned Tyra, basically. Yeah. Tyra is the best Chaschaira. Tyra is is good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. And you did that all through all four days, Khalamaid? Yeah. Uh, did they have like a pro that afterwards you went to a park or a thing like that? Or no. just good prizes? Did they give out like Nash? No, money. Give out money? This is my kind of program. Now we're talking. How, many, how much did they give out? Uh, $25 a day. 20, so you made $100, Chalamet, for learning. Yeah. Oh, Chalamet, we're in the wrong room. You know what I mean? I should have been security by sabotage. Why? Because we couldn't make money over there. No, this guy, no, this guy. No, 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 this is Schar, Schar, what do you know? Schar, Mitzvah, 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 And where are you going to be in the summer? I'm not sure yet. You're not sure yet. What's the choices? Either here or YKK. Either here or there. What's YKK? Camp. Bobcher Camp. Where is that? In Kingston. In Kingston. Kingston, Pennsylvania? No, New York. Kingston, oh. New York. That's all the way up on the throughway, right? Yeah. You don't go to not Ghana, Israel, and Liberty. No. Down the road from Taj Bar. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. Anyway, thank you so much for calling, and uh, enjoy your Shabbos. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else, Nissa? Yeah. Oh, the phones are calling. I don't know why this. I wanted to send you such a good schmack and again. Okay. And it's not going. So. We have another one. Another the lawyer now. We have yeah. a lot of songs that are waiting. Oh, yeah. A lot of songs that are waiting. Okay. So maybe we'll get to it next week. You are on there. What's your name? Tully Handelsman. Who? Wow. You have a lot of energy. Yeah. Especially this late at night. Where are you, where are you calling from? Waterbury, Connecticut. Waterbury, Connecticut. Do me a favor. You're going to see Rabbi Baruch Levine tomorrow? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm his Talmud. You're his Talmud. So please, please, please tell him that Yaeli Kar and Elchanan Amara send him a wonderful Shabbos. And Nisim. And Nisim. And, okay. and if he could please, like this, I, and you can say this very respectfully, that in order for us to know that he gave, Elchanan or me or Nisim to know that we got... That, that you gave him the message, he should send one of us, not all three, send one of us a text that, uh, that, 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 you, go, that you gave you the message. Okay. okay. I should okay. WhatsApp him. What's your first name? Tully. Tully what? Handelsman. Oh, we said that. So I should, I, should I tell him no, that? No, 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 no. I want, to ask, right, I, want to... I want Tully to go over to him. No, no, and we, no. Tully, Tully. He wants to, I want him to go over to Rabbi Levine and tell him that he's... I saw that. Wishing him a mazel tov, a, 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 a Shabbos from us, and in order, <laughs> he should, he should, like, okay. Where, where were you, Chalamite? What did you do? I was in Toronto. You were there, whole Yontif? Yeah. Well, what's in Toronto? Um, we went to, like, a jumping place. But well, why did you go to Toronto for Yontif? Your grandparents lived there? Yeah. Oh, wow, I guess a lot of Toronto people that live in Waterbury. Because yeah. the Levines are also originally from Toronto, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, um, so you went to Toronto, and then you went to a jumping place. Very, yeah. Did you know jumping is very in these days? No. <laughs> what about... What about... Um, did, did you go to Niagara Falls? No. No, you didn't... Pass, you drove or you flew to Toronto? 
I do. So you pass right by Niagara Falls. What was you... on in the car when you went to the Toronto? Car drove through the night. There's was there any A.B. Um, Rottenberg music on? A.B. Rottenberg is also from Toronto. I seriously forget. Was there DVDs or was it CDs? What? Were you watching a DVD or were you listening to a CD? I don't have a DVD in my oh, car. Oh, good. Baruch Hashem. So one second. You're calling now from Waterbury? Yeah. Do you realize what we've had tonight? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Very good. Beautiful. Anyway. Is it snowing in Waterbury? <laughs> where are you going to be? Tully. Tully, you there? Yeah. Are you, where, where are you, you going to be in the summer, Mr. Sam? I'm going to Camp Aachen. Camp Aachen. <laughs> Second person. Yeah, but Waterbury could go to Aachen. Lakewood. Is no, like, it was Muncie. It's Muncie, yeah. It was your friend. My friend, yeah. <laughs> Especially they used to be Taj Bar boys. All right. I, we, we, Baruch Hashem. Aachen's a great camp. Do me a favor. You send Rabbi Bosch my regards. Well, he gave me too many regards. First, you must send Rabbi He's Levine. not going to remember by the summer that I got, he got regards from me. I'll see Rabbi Bosch before him. Don't worry. Okay. But tomorrow, I expect either me or Achana to get a text. Or a WhatsApp Tully? from Rabbi Levine, Shlita, my good you friend. You got it? Yeah. Very good. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Yes, yeah, you too. Thank you. Great. Tully, you could call more often. And by the way, Tully, if you're in Brooklyn, yeah. you can come up to the station for a Macha Brucha Cup. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have, Have a good night. Shabbos. You are on the air. What is your name? Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I love that. You know, you have your hello. Yearly's like, hello! And Nissim's like, hello. <laughs> it's like... You know, the phone line is full, <laughs> packed up, and the guy, that. That, the guy doesn't want to answer. Hello, <laughs> okay. We're hello, going go to, to the next guy. We have plenty. One. We have right. plenty of people who want to talk to us. About you are on there. What's your name? Laser Diver. Laser, Laser Diver! Diver! And, and. How are you doing? Gewaldig, how are you? Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Laser, what did you do, Chalamaid? I went to, I went to the Prime Zoo. I went to... Uh, How's your heart doing? I went to different places. The um, Prime Zoo, what was your favorite animal in the zoo? Do they still have that big fat gorilla? Uh, the monkeys, the lions, the tigers, the bears. The, monkey, the big monkeys or the little monkeys? Which day did you go to the zoo? Wednesday, of course. Wednesday. All right. <laughs> oh, I know that. I just. And by, and by the way, you I just hear I'm going to go. To, I'm going to Camp Ray. I'm going to it. It's the most funnest camp to be in Camp Ray. <laughs> Are you laughing? At? No, 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 no. I hurt myself. I'm crying. <laughs> he's crying. He used to from... be there. You know? he, he... Right. He used to be. He's a Rayan boy. A I used to be a Rayan. Oh, I, was I was a Rayan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was a, they used to run the choir, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, oh, yeah, they used to, were you in the choir with him? No, 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 you were in, you were there, Laser, you were in Rain when I was there? No, I was, I was in Australia in 2001. Oh, so I was out of there, 98 was my last summer. Yeah. 93. Uh, 93 was your last summer in Rain? No, in Rome. Uh, Somebody uh, told me to I, I love Camp Rain, it's a place to be. Oh, and I, 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 once I was at Laser, Laser, I just remembered something. I think his name is Eliezer Rupp. Is a Rebbe Yeshivik town in Manhattan? Yeah, Rabbi Yehuda Rupp. Yehuda Rupp. Yeah, Shlita. Shlita, Rabbi Rupp. He was in charge of us when we were in camp. Right, Gilda. he said you were wow. a waiter. He was your Rebbe or something. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I met mean, he's a Rebbe. He's a sixth grade Rebbe, I believe, in Shivik Tanah wow. Manhattan. He told me, please send al Khan regards. I was there today, Shivik Tanah Manhattan. Big shout out to Shivik Tanah Manhattan. Rabbi Rupp, wow. Yeah, so I forgot. Anyway, Laser, That's back to okay. Laser Diamond. <laughs> back to Laser and Camp Rayam. Yeah. First of all, you went to the Bronx Zoo Wednesday. What about okay, Laser, Laser? Didn't you come? Yeah. Didn't you come one day to Camp Tashbar for a concert in, in, together yeah, with Chavivin? Yeah, that was it. I know you were there. I said hello to you. I said hello to you, right? Yeah, I don't want to bother you. You're too busy. Um, of course. I, I, don't like to, I, don't, Get, I don't like to bother people. Guess yeah, what? When I even came to visit him in Tashbar, he was busy. Well, excuse me. You got really? royal treatment in I Tashbar. did, but, but no, no, no. What I mean to say is... When you were a head counselor, busy, he's right? really busy. No, 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 not in the facility. Yeah, you're switching away. You know, they might think you're, you're keeping the kids busy. Baruch Hashem. That's right, especially when there's a concert. He has crowd control well, and he no, has to do it was, security. It was, it was only, it was only Chavivim and. and, and, and uh, oh, that wasn't Yerli Falkowitz? And, no, 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 no. That was Chavivim. It was Shlomi uh -huh. Dax, actually. It was Chavivim uh -huh. and uh, I think it was actually Dalitov or Hayov. Oh, that's when Shlomi came. Shlomi came to Chavivim and, 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 and uh, Kina Dovid joined. Beautiful. Yeah. Very, very nice. Anyway, Laser, thank you so much. 
Thank you. Have a good day. Good Have a great oh, Shabbos, Lazer. Call more often. Thank you. Yeah. You are on there. What's your name? Hello, you're on there. What's your name? Hello, you're on there. What's your name? My name is Yaakov Warbach. And Yaakov uh, And I want to thank you for coming, Yoli, for um, for uh, coming to Kina David to visit us. Yaakov, and, it was um, so good to see you today in Kina David. Yeah, I thank you. You know, can I tell you what Yaakov did? One second, one second, one second. Yaakov, 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 calm, Yaakov, Yaakov, calm down. Do you remember today? I got a whole introduction. He did the mm -hmm. whole. Could you give the Olam the introduction he gave me today? Yeah. Let's go. go. And now, for the first time, here at Kinner David, uh, in front of 20, tens of twenties and thousands of people here in the USA and only on jrootradio.com, you are listening to Leil Sisi with Yoeli, and here's your host, Yoeli Carr. You just had a little oh. twist there. You did Yoel Hamishi, you, whatever, but you did a good job. Yeah, whatever. It was very good. I tried, I, tried, I tried my best at doing a great intro, but you did a great intro. I, I could have had it taped here. Yeah, yeah, Baruch Hashem. Well, anyway, Yaakov, they, yeah. didn't, they didn't invite me. Can you imagine I could have yeah. came there with Yoeli? We could have done the show together. I, we, we could have done the show live at uh, Kinner David Maybe. in the dining room here. 100%. All right. We could have set it up into a studio, a real radio studio. Well, let me ask you, did, he, did Yoeli, yeah. like, did, did he give everyone, did you have a good time with Yoeli? Oh, yeah, it was a good time with him. You sang some songs together? We sang some songs together. We spoke about radio, of how he started and how it began Beautiful. here. What's, give, give, what song, give me one of the songs you sang. Uh, da 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 Oh, Eitan Cats. Very that, nice. Yeah, that's from Eitan Cats. We sang it. It was Beautiful. wonderful. Very nice. And hey, Yaakov, yeah. thank you so much for calling. All right, have a good job. Have a wonderful job. Have a wonderful job. Have a wonderful job. And everybody at Jairuth, you're the man. You the man. That's right. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a wonderful job. Bye-bye. Thank you. You bye -bye. are on there. Yeah, yeah, What's your name? Bye-bye. That's a great call. It sounds like this guy is washing his dishes. You're on there. What's your name? <laughs> okay, next. Something was a phone. <laughs> no, it sounds like he's washing his dishes. <laughs> his and his phone and fell he, into the No, sink. and now he's going to wipe his hands and pick up the phone. Disconnect, okay. Everything is disconnected. Everything, the okay. phone's jammed. That means we have okay. thousands of callers. Anyway, what did we have queued up there? We have a few other things queued up we there. Have, uh, oh, we have Tovi's request? What yes. yes. So, Hanan, tell us about Tovi's request. You ended the show this <clears> week yes. with this? Yes. You have Tovi's request? Yes. We have to do uh, YKK, my, my great executive producer, found this. He's not uh, the, the executive producer of, of Classic Nikonim, I'm sorry. No, I think the executive producer of Lel Shishi is none other than Nissim. Uh -huh. We all know that Rabbi uh -huh. Teitelbaum produced the Pirche albums. One of the Pirche albums is a song, Eilecha. Eilecha, Hashem Ekra. So rumor has it that Rabbi Teitelbaum, when he put it on the credits of the album, he didn't he didn't he say didn't he didn't know. So rumor has it he once met the Holy Rebbe Rabbi Shlaim, and Rabbi Shlaim says, Rabbi Teitelbaum, what did you take my song for? Rabbi Teitelbaum says, I took your song, and then it hit him that Rabbi Teitelbaum heard the song out of Kumzitz way way back, and it seems that the and Rabbi Shlaim never really sang the song but Saif Yom if he did. But it had like different files. It was like up at, there's like three parts to the song. Yeah, so YKK want? found this recording. This is the early 50s. He's just singing before Rip Schlemmer learned how to play guitar. This is at a Kumsitz, Matze Shabbos, probably 1952, probably in Beis Medrash Elyon. Wow. Take a listen to this.
I don't know, Al Khanan. It has some parts that I love, but it sounds Correct. like a totally different song. Imagination. That is, that... Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to go to the phone calls, but can we find Shabbos and Shiloh? But you, know, you don't want to play Mark. Okay. Which one do you want to play? Life to Heart song. It's a slow song. We have to end with something a little more. It's almost over the show. That's not a slow song. Oh, come on, but it's so hard. You know, we're going to ask the next folk if they want that. Fine. We'll ask him what he wants. Shabbos and Shiloh, Death okay. Man Shtibel. You are on there. What's right your off name? the bat. Ask him and then he continue the you're, phone call. You're on there. What's your name? Yankee Flossberg. Yankee Flossberg. Okay. We're, me and Al Khan are having a discussion what we should play as the last song. Should we play Death Man and the Shtibel from Leftar or Shabbos and Gilo from Leftar? Definitely the Stiebel. Thank you. I love you, baby. I love that man, the Stiebel, oh, but, but it's the last song of the show. Come on, it's so okay, good. Okay, so we'll do that man, the That's what we're going to end with. Anyway, Yankee Flossberg, how you doing? Baruch Hashem, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's not so long. The truth? Since you were seven years old. You know, the truth is, you know Yerli Car when Yerli Car was seven years old? No, when I was seven. Oh, oh okay. Because I was going to say, I don't think you were born when I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was married already when you were seven. <laughs> anyway, he was a cute little boy. You want to say some story, you know? You want to say a story? Oh, okay. No, no, I, 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 sent, I sent it to you. I don't know if you want to read it or not. I'll tell you the truth. I no, saw but... you send me a long story, but I'm not going to read something on the air that I never read before and I didn't have a chance to read it. So you can tell the story. So if you want to read it, but is it clean? <laughs> yeah, it's just, a, it, it's just a very funny Hitchcock project oh, story. Oh, so Yanki, you want to read it? If you want to read it. I said, Nisim, you read it? <laughs> okay. I, I, okay, so oh, Yanki, you read it. All right. No. It was a packed flight from Tel Aviv. Mm -hmm. The doors were about to close yeah. when suddenly a Hasidic man in row 47 stood up. He was seated next to a woman, and there was, and there was no way he would spend the next 11 hours doing the doing sense. The entire plane was asked to switch seats with him, and not one person agreed. The stewardess told him it's time to either sit back down or get off the plane. As he was walking off the plane, a man with a small netted yarmulke stood up and said, Take my seat. We can switch. The Hasidic man said, How come before you were unwilling and now you changed your mind? The man responded, I know what's going to happen. You get off the plane. It crashes, killing everyone on board, mm -hmm. and you'll be telling the world the Hashgacha Prada story about how your wife was safe not sitting next to a woman. Well, let me tell you something. If this plane crashes, you're going down with us. <laughs> very, very good. Okay. By the way, that's not a funny story for this week. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's, that's... By the way, it's, it's amazing, that story with the plane. I mean, the, the engine explodes, the window breaks, and the pilot 
is able to land the plane safely. Wow. It's a big, big miracle. That's a big miracle, but that, know, so that, the there was, that, that there was only one casualty on the plane is a miracle. Wow! And yeah. the the air that the two guys pulled this uh, poor that, was the, lady. that could have been the same. The 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 window because it was. The, she the, saved the airplane basically. She saved it because she, she was, blacked blacked the 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 the, the, the vacuum. The vacuum. Yeah. Now, they were pulling her in, yeah. and uh, say. <laughs> you know. Wow! Yeah. Crazy story. Yeah. So so. Uh, <laughs> it's still good, Yankee. That was good, Yankee. That was good. And in your honor, anybody more phone calls? By the way, right now, yeah. right now, not. So in your honor, we're gonna end. We're gonna play Deaf Man in the Shtibol. Yankee Flossberg, it's great talk. By the way, where do you go, Chalamide? So Chalamide, I was by my in laws in Toronto. Wow, Toronto. Yeah. Did you meet um, Tully Handelsman from Waterbury? <laughs> Do you know who Tully Handelsman is? It's Handelsman or Handel, I'm not sure. He is Rabbi Jarebi Baruch Levine. That's yeah, what we know. Big, big He's a Waterbury boy. Anyway, so uh, yeah, and what did you did you stop in Niagara on the way? Um, I I didn't. We we actually we flew to Toronto and we drove back. You flew to Toronto. First of all, you have to say it properly. You flew where? Toronto. A. Toronto. A. Toronto. So your in laws are from Toronto. My wife is from Toronto. Yeah. So your in laws, yeah, very good. Gavaldi. Where are you Davin? So they dive in What's your social security number? Bay, they live on the corner by the Bayat. Oh, by the Bayat or by Taub? Oh, that's beautiful. Very nice. Anyway, Yankee yeah. Flossberg, thank you so now much. We're now we're talking about the Karabkin. Gavaldi, thank you so much. Anyway, here is Deaf Man in the Shtibo. We're going to come back in a minute and say goodbye. Deaf Man in the Shtibo. I guess that's why we can't hear this song. All right. Uh, one second. It's here. Uh, 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 computer is uh, making trouble. Computer. Computer. And it's. She a malot. We have to go. Just a deaf man in the stable, and to everyone's surprise. He comes to truly chop his hand, he prays with tear-filled eyes. His son, he is the chazan, though his voice he's never heard. But he sits there enjoying every word. He watches every motion, every gesture that he makes. And he stays till the very end, however long it takes. And when the davening is over, he's the first to reach his son. And the deaf man in the steeple says, well done. Now it's right before Yom Kippur, in the steeple there is fear. They want to start for me. The shoe is filled with people as the night begins to fall. But the deaf man's chair stands empty by the wall. Then suddenly the chazan, he comes rushing through the door. He's wearing his white chazan's hat he's never worn before. He pauses for a moment at his father's empty chair And quietly he wipes away a tear And he runs up to the beamer For there's no time left to wait And half the shoe can hear the rabbi ask How come so late? Oh, just getting ready for Yom Kippur And he takes his place around it by the holy tone ring. And in a voice so beautiful, he begins to sing. Oh, every heart is broken, oh, and every soul will cry. From his comb, the dray that young.
Wow, wow, wow. Hanan, that's a good choice. Great choice. Anyway, thank you to all the callers. Thank you, Nisim. Thank you, Hanan. Thank you, Blazer. Listen, thank you, Nash Express. And remember, always say Besimcha.